Okay, we have to react to more of this bull crap. So let's start. Wait, before we start, this is something stupid called Contalia. What the hell is Contalia? You're not Portuguese. What the hell? This is very stupid. That's stupid. That is very stupid, guys. But I have more to a theory. There is more than what to say. And I'll reveal the theory at the end of this review. Great, now I have to watch this called Moon Zedford. Whatever the hell it is, it's an other plakage crap that needs to be stopped. Cause it's pretty inappropriate as it is. What a weird accent. If it was Zed Ferd, but no Zed Ford, well, I'm still going to go Zed Ferd and moves more. What the fuck is this? This is not child appropriate. You can clearly tell it's not child appropriate. And take Theodore, for example, and see how you know, you know, that his clothes keeps getting off. He, he needs to keep wearing his former clothes and not just wear something for himself because he will, he will be at, at, at a better risk of him being fully naked and everyone seeing his private. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What the fuck is that? This is very stupid. This is very stupid. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> A fucking woman cow with her pet fly. Zedford, what the fuck is this show? Uh, it's shitty. What the fuck is this shit? What the fuck? 
I see why there be arrows, but this is very stupid as it is. This is very stupid as it is. Oh my gosh, play kids. You have to be so stupid. No, no, no. No, 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 play kids. I don't know why we're going beyond the Legendary Scout series, but we are. <laughs> Kind of for that one, but now we have to go back. We have to react to Junior on a job. Whatever's gonna happen wrong, I know what is. <laughs> shit is shit, and shit is more shit. And it's only gonna get worse, guys. So be aware. Ma'am, your job is going to get worse. And you see how my mate has a sibling that wears a train hat, and technically, that train hat is a. Uh, and he also looks like Lincoln Loud from the Loud House. And that, and it's just a foster home, so. And, uh, and, here's, and there's a fear, and I have a fear that he been in a family of drug addicts. Cause look at him, just look at him. Just, just. <laughs> it's a foster home, probably. Mr. Robin and Mrs. Robin might be the actual parents of both. Cause in my my, we already got my my step -mo foster mother. Well, that's just her aunt. I was wrong. Both Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Rabbit might not be the aunts or uncles. They might be a mom and dad. Which is even worse to know how we can go to the pig, play kids, happy tree friends, and even Rick and Morty! In your vo- in the day of births, you see the day of births in a wiki? I'm pretty sure somebody just messed around with edited it, but if not, and your original person put that there, set it on, that means he might have a purgatory theory. Ooh. And you know the Ed and Eddie purgatory theory, and you know how it starts in 1903 and ends at, you know, 2000? Well, almost 2001, it says that Jenner was born, and then goes for the other characters. So this might be leading to a purgatory theory that connects to Ed and Eddie. Maybe around two thousand in mid two thousand a bomb impacted. A weird bomb that killed all of the Ed and Eddie characters. I know the show exists after but <laughs> in a world it was still nineteen ninety nine or two thousand. So technically <laughs> bomb. The last episode shortly after the last episode a bomb happened occurred and now all these new characters are with us. On the gang. In Cartoon Network. But soon as we'll actually be on TV, probably. But Junior's an asshole, and if I could, I would. I would take him. If I could kidnap all these characters, I'd kidnap them and bring them to SCP 61 and Roblox. <laughs> Listen, I'm not even joking when you say that. They're all stupid. Now you have to watch the sample. You heard my mates, uh. It sounds a bit more tenor than alto. Or so final. 
maybe something is. I can only picture what Cuddles' voice might look, might sound like. When you take a sample of the voice, it's going to be a bit complicated, but seriously. Voices are genetic, and especially for identical twins. The same gender can easily tell, but they could be different genders sometimes. Yes, just this, 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 this character is hiding something from, is hiding something behind the scenes. Of course, they're not being tortured like an happy tree, friends, but there's something really wrong. And who's really filming this? Well, it's weird to know to know that this happy tree friend is taken over by p that these fairy cover-ups from like different shows. Going through Peppa Pig all the way to Rick and Morty. Wow. Just wow, guys. This is complication. Come on, guys. Here. This is the come on, guys. Take the come on, guys, and make it higher. I mean, no, lower. No, and we need to do some tweaks. And when it sounds like a boy's voice, we get actual coded voice. No, all the characters like just squeak. Murmuring high pitch. Well, we're forced to do that. You never really saw the actual voices. You never saw what they were really like behind the scenes. You never saw who they were really like. You never ever saw who they were really like. Come the big turn. Whoa, whoa. Dom. I looked up on the Wikipedia and says it's Ed. I have a theory that Ed from Ed and Eddie must have survived and and he got transformed to a dog and then had and then he saw this kid dog kid thingy and then realized whoever came here were now animals <laughs> from Purgatory. And day birth might not just be day of birth, but they might actually be the time that they actually came to the Ed and Eddie Purgatory. Wow, I'm sorry, but just a boring old coldy sack in a couple streets turning into an entire city that's supposed to copy Sim City from The Sims 1? Holy moly, man! I knew his voice would sound like that. I predicted his voice would sound like that. This is just Ed from Ed and Eddie. And he just got non-stupider. He just saw these kids being turned to animals. Before his eyes. And what's creepy is... He found a woman... Who entered a polygatory. Named Suzanne. I don't know what to say... But, well, usually only kids end up sucking this polygatory, but somehow an adult got mistaked. Ed from Ed and Eddie, or this dog, a doll, is now, you know? Maybe it's all in his mind. Maybe they're still all humans. <laughs> and he's just being psychotically insane by this point. He is already a retard, but he's going to be, but he's psychologically insane by this point. He needs to be in medical car. You know, yeah, his voice is quite weird. Oh my gosh, his voice is stupid. That basically Bart Simpson. You can tell that this kid's name was, like, this kid is not really... By like so it's all in Ed's head, but it's not just all in Ed's Ed's head. But we are in a Blue's Clues theory. It's all in Steve's head. And he's pretending that he's Ed and double pretending that he's a dog. There might be no cartoon world. It might all be his head. Cuckoo, crazy, shasha, ch 
choo-choo, bang, bang, choo-choo train. <laughs> Crap. This looks like a job for Junior. Junior, you have a horrible name. You have a bad name. You have a bad name. You have a bad name. It's just shocking to know this purgatory is true. He says he's almost born in 2001, but 2000. They see that Timmy Ronald was born in 2002. They see that she was born in 2005. They see that Loopy was born in 2000. What? More like imagination destination. SCP Site 61 with SCP 096 and SCP 049. An average of SCP-096, 15,000. How much of SCP-049? 800. And how much of SCP-173? And how much of SCP-173? Welp, my friends, 5,000. Okay, you made it to Niggy Land. <laughs> Welcome to Niggy Land. <laughs> Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. You're in Niggy Land, which is not a good thing. You can take the train to Fruity Land. Don't sneak that carrot. That was Cuddles' lunch. That was C your twin brother's Cuddles' lunch. And he accidentally left it in Niggy Land. He tried to escape, but Rick caught him. And he couldn't even bring his lunch <laughs> with him. So don't try to sneak up. Nigeland is really cool, happy tree friend land. Be careful. Don't let Rick and Mr. Me Seeks catch you. Oh, Morty. And Morty's also forced to work with them too. Somebody help. You really think that's a good thing? Hold well, your hands. Look at the happy tree friends' hands and the play kids' hands. They're the same. They're just like nub then thumb. Nub and thumb. Like seriously. I have I'm not even joking when I say this. This is very stupid as it is and it stays that way. Unfortunately, we do got <laughs> something wrong. Me, me. Okay, and whatever happened to Cuddles? You don't talk right now. I recognize that voice actor. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my gosh, your voice is the same. Dude. And my theory is Theodore is old friend used to be, you know, Sniffles. Junior's old friend used to be Toofy. Kate's old friend used to be Giggles. And Mama's friend, a.k.a. Yard Uncle Twin, used to be Cuddles. Yes. But then, and others, characters for other friends. And then when they all got, got lost, they decided to, you know, you know, make something called Legendary Scouts. Everyone who's still left. <laughs> In a Sunnyville. You should get out of Niggiesville because it's really, 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 really close to you know what. Yeah, Happy Tree Friends Land. And you don't want Rick catching you in it. You have to suffer. But you should save. Okay, let me look on my calculator. May not be able to see, but that's okay. And I have a fear that every three years in their world, every 20 years happens in our world. Because you know when Happy Tree Friends is first invented. So. For, so, so 20 divided by 3 
You got six point six 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 seven. That's how much years it. It's like almost seven years. Like around seven, around six to seven years is how much years happen passes in our our world while a year happens in their world. So please know that you're you're. You will be endangered species next year. You will be the key to the endangered list. Rather you like it or not. I'm the key to my vagina king. I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. Sorry, but this is a stupid... You, and you see, her personality is quite similar to Cuddles. Like, of course, identical twins' personalities might be different. They're different genders. Both my my and Cuddles are probably identical twins. This is going to be soon really viral. A lot of people are going to be comparing Happy Tree Friends to Play Kids with Peppa Pig and Rick and Morty and Ed, Ed and Eddie. And possibly Blue's Clue in my Blue's Clues theory, but the biggest thing will be my Blue's Clues theory. Coal? Oh yeah, it's the stuff you put up your. To Good maybe tip it to help sure, I oh my gosh, what is that fucking thing? It seems like that thing will give a lot of little children nightmares. Welcome to Nightmare Land. Want some nightmares? Oh my gosh, what was your imaginary friend doing? What the fuck? You really think I'm okay with this? You really f think I'm okay? I get it. You, you as play kids are just what's left of Happy Tree Friend, of all the characters. <sighs> Those characters that got stolen became happy tree friends. Seriously, those. Just too many years had passed in your world when this happened. Of course, there are videos of their origins, but they're, but a lot, but they're all false. Or are they even? I don't know, but they're probably false. But they're definitely false. <laughs> you don't know something about a real character. And this brings you. And even can comes to the conclusion that every character in the cartoon world has infinite siblings. Oh, well, and it also says that you need 55 billion trillion quintillion nonillion decillion centillion november decillion four vegetarian and free, 33 billion pieces of coal to operate this train. Yes, idiot! It's a fish! Here it is! Train car number five has- You niggered! Oh, 
sorry for saying that. Haha. <laughs> -ha. Well, that's what Kyle's eats every day. You know that the both you and Cuddles are actually identical twins. Of course, both of you know you just don't want to tell anyone about your secret relationship. <laughs> of course, you miss him so much. And Peppa and Will are free. You'll find out how to get back together. You're super fat. Well, let me show you something. What happened to... You know what's happening to your brother right now? You realize he's getting killed and respawning somewhere else? Well, you're just eating carrots? Are you actually just going to not help? Shut up. <laughs> you all assholes need to be uncautious. I'm gonna try to make the Cuddles version of Play Kids like he used to be. Like he would be if he's still on yours. That's right. Nope. You need to use your own virginity. We should use shovels to put coal in the engine. Great job. <laughs> yes. Shovels are an important part of making coal. Thank you, Cuddles. Now let's get back to the mm -hmm. You ripped off. Dora, the explorers, we did it! You assholes! 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 Oh, you know those little kids? Oh, look! Thank <laughs> you. 
I was a hacker. Hi, my name is Daniela. I was a hacker once, and I found out something weird. Who the hell was that? Can somebody tell me who the hell was that? No. Yes, I know who it was. You giggles. And cuddles is in danger. Cuddles is in serious danger. Cuddles is in huge danger. You notice how kids, you know, you notice how the Happy Tree Friends characters look like children dressing up as, some of them even dressing up as the adults. Well, it's true. For my theory, it's true. These are just children stuck in a loop of depression. And misery, and suffering, and pain, and agony, and much, much more stuff you don't want to experience. Be lucky that you are not in this contaminated zone. Someone, help. Somebody, help. I already posted on the Play Kids Weekend. I, I, I immediately got five. I immediately got two comments from user in in just 24 fucking hours. But my theory is going even worse. I have to say, I discovered even more than I thought I did. The people behind the scenes of this were Rick and Morty and Mr. Meeseeks. Rick is already an alcoholic. An angry drunk person, not a happy drunk person, but an angry, angry drunk person. And you know, one time he got in, got so insane, mentally insane with alcohol that he actually decided to take a create a bus with his potion to just take it and drive it all the way to Sunnyville just to kidnap children. And while Carlos was walking the street, being depressed that he was separated from his Twin sister with aka best friend my mom He was the Mr. Meeseeks forced he's like the came in and said like, get in the bus and he was like no but then the Mr. Meeseeks came in and forced him in there. So there he was being driven to a boot shop or abuse hap. Where a lot of these children had to pretend that they were adults. And wherever zone you go to in the animation realm, your animation style changes. And this is what exactly happens to all these characters. These four characters Cub is just the younger brother. Like Cub is just the younger brother of Pop. They were just siblings walking on the street. An old child, like one, the seven year, the one eight year old child of Pop was ha like was carrying his baby, and then not his baby, but his younger brother. But then they both got kidnapped. Look at this, and after that, all the remaining survivors who didn't wind up getting. Trapped. Decide to, you know, make a group called Legendary Scouts. And what's even weirder is the mole's not even an old person. All these characters are just children forced to act. And you see this adult? That adult was the lawyer. Lumpy. He was the lawyer. Lumpy and lawyer. Can't quite sound safe, but don't rhyme at all whatsoever. I guess. <laughs> See. But here's a weird thing. Cuddle Lumpy is technically 
was technically the lawyer that separated both my mind cuddles and other siblings. So, well, there are too much siblings, and he needed a separation. But the separation went horribly, 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 horribly wrong. And he did it wrongly, you know. And now look what happened. Crow Marmont. He used to be a very, the bestest friend of Timmy Ronald. But then he was kidnapped and forced to, you know, wearing caving clothes and forced to get iced when whatever he was in episode and get uniced after. Yo, it's weird. Sensation A. Eh? Cross and Marmont is suffering even worse than everyone else. Somebody please help. And plus, well my mind colors could be living in a nursing and then it could be living in a foster home. Both my mind and cuddles were babies. Both Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Rabbit from Pet Pig couldn't take care of them. Plus, they're the same in our color, color as well. So they took. So he decided that they put them put them up for adoption, and a foster home adopted them when they were only two years old, and both of them were only two years old. And technically, the foster home was ran. By Mr. Rabbit's sister, aka the mom, or I'd say stepmom, I guess, with the aunt, because it's yellow, with her husband, who was a, who gave her the last, who gave the aunt the last name of Lucian. Yes, well, the biological aunt, to be exact, or aka my my's mom, but their last names were really meant to be Rabbit. We would have saw them too as Peppa Pig characters. It went differently. Things go wrong. <laughs> Things go horribly wrong. And they always go wrong. And look at some other characters that are stolen and kidnapped. They only appear in fandoms. <laughs> fandoms. Ricky Morty. <laughs> Is now thinking of letting them all go. Which is a good thing. A really good thing, but. All of these poor characters are stuck. They are stuck. We all know that Lifty and Shifty are both identical twins, but so are Cuddles and Mai Mai, probably. There is a one, there's a 50% chance I'm correct. But the odds of the creators saying I'm correct? It's literally 1 in 20,000. And guess who is that? Well, it's Russell. It's Russell. It's Russell. That bitch is Russell. And, you know, we all got lumpy. We all know he's an adult. And I thought some of the characters were mid-adults. But no, they're forced to be, you know, something worse, <laughs> as you expect. But... I know I'm not saying stuff properly, but I'm too lazy right now with this stuff. I gotta get less lazy so I can focus on life more. Dude. We are serious when I say this. There is something really, 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 really wrong. There is something wrong. And here's another. And here's another friend. Of Junior Barker. His name. I'm not sure but the spouse is Tycon.png. Is his name Tycoon? Tycon? Ugh. But anyways, guys, it's even worse to know that they might be living in a foster home. 